Hi everyone, Shaky Tam here and Tim. Hello all. Tonight I'll be cooking meal. Mediterranean roasted vegetable meal by Schwartz. So it looks like it's a little seasoning packet that you throw on your vegetables and it tells you what vegetables you've got to use. Aubergine. 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 Eggplant. Zucchini. Read it out from the packet, what does it say? Courgettes. Corgis. Little puppies. <laughs> We call yeah. them zucchinis here. Courgettes. We have tomato, which Just, Tam diced up nicely. We call those tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Capsicum, which I think some people call a pepper. It's a red capsicum here. Bell pepper, capsicum. It's like we've got a different Peppers. name for everything. And Spanish onion or red onion. I usually do make a Mediterranean vegetable bake thing. This is saying that it's on our list of things we cook regularly, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but you don't put this on it. No, I do not. You don't put so. anything on it, you just use the vegetable flavours. I chop up some garlic and I put on olive oil on it okay and then afterwards i put fresh basil through it as well oh, but we have basil we've only got thai basil at the moment they show a basil leaf Ooh, on the front they do too uh, but yeah. you put it all in a bowl and you have to cover it with oil look at all these nice vegetables throw some olive oil on just wash my hands and it says to coat everything with oil i'm gonna just mix that with things but hey that's all right it's good to see you really getting involved I'm enjoying it. it. Feels good. In a creepy way. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, it's a phone. It's your phone. Well, what happens when we make videos lately? We're getting <laughs> phone calls because right. we're just so loved. That's what it is. It was my phone. I'm loved. Oh. <laughs> oh sorry. I'm now going to Mr. Schwartz them. What's Whoa. it look like? What's it smell like? Very saucy. Do you want to have a look what it looks like, guys? Should I just do a bit and then stir it and do a bit more? It's really up to you, you're the cook. I don't want to get one. too thick over everything. And I just want to stir it around a bit so it's sort of not all heavy on one piece, you know? What is this? What is this madness? I mean, it's either going to be amazing or kill all our vegetables. I still it's... reckon I would have liked to get my hands into it. Really? Why? I just think you'd get a better coating. Of your hands? <laughs> I've only used half. Here we go some really? more. Really? No way. <gasps> I, I don't know about this. Is there herbs in there? Yeah, it's got everything. Is it all in? No. Oh, that's a lot of stuff going in there. You got the right amount of vegetables, didn't you? I don't know, I didn't measure them. Aye, right. aye, aye. Mix it and then throw it in the thing and then we'll put it in the oven. I've got to put some potatoes on to go with this. Okay, let's mix it. Dump it in. That looks all right. It looks nice and bright and colourful. I like that. Some good looking vegetables right there. Preheated oven at 220 degrees. Right. I've actually made up my own spice mix of stuff, which has got some rosemary, some paprika, some salt, pepper. I also put a little bit of flour into this, and that's so that the potatoes go nice and crunchy. Give it a bit of a shake around. Do you realize you shake when you shake? <laughs> I'm like a mad person. Oh, wow, look at that. So in you go. So hopefully that'll give us some nice, crunchy potatoes. In the oven you go with the vegetables. I'm also going to cook a piece of instant fish with this meal. We usually do buy ourselves some fish from the fishmonger, but hard times, we've been in lockdown, so we're not going out to the shops as much, and this is what we have. Magical potatoes. Some nice well, little fish. fish. Vegetables. Nice. Are you happy with that? Yeah, yeah. It looks like it's really, really cooked. Have we put, cooked it for too long? Possibly. Oh, look at this chef working his magic in the kitchen. <laughs> how good do these potatoes look? You know what I love about potatoes? They're nice. You know how I love potato chips? So, of course, these are in the same family. These are their cousins. This is like a feast for royalty. <laughs> now, where's your little snipper snippers? Run, honey, run. <laughs> looks all right. Comfort food. During lockdown, basically, we wake up and then breakfast starts and then we just eat throughout the whole day. Oh, well, I'm having a tea now. Might as well have some biscuits. Oh, afternoon, let's have a coffee. Oh, do you want a piece of cake? Yeah, sure, why not? And then suddenly it's dinner and it's but lunch. What about and the it's... chips and the lollies in between? <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. It's not pretty. So there it is. Oh, and look at this beautiful cutlery that Uncle Brian has supplied. Come on. Sit down. Let's try the vegetable stuff because that's what it's all about in this video. I'm just trying to hold this up. Hmm. Hmm? It's a little bit of flavour to it, doesn't it? I'll try one of your potatoes. 
potatoes are nice. I mean, as far as the vegetables are concerned, it does have a nice little tang to it and some different spices and stuff like that and some herbs. Could you do this easily yourself? I think yes, but as I say with these mixes, the good thing about this one is that one, it's encouraging you to have vegetables. Two, that it's really simple to make. It gives you really clear instructions. Mm -hmm. I don't have a number three. Three, it tastes good. Yeah, would you do this again? Um, if I had the packet, but would I go out and buy the packet? Probably wouldn't, because Tim makes something very similar and it tastes just as nice. But that's because they cook. But if you didn't cook, mm. if you serve this up to people, well, they go wow they go is this a packet mix they'd say wow that's nice mm. it's very nice thank you brian the potatoes how good are they yum they're so yummy they're a bit soggy but they're okay <laughs> i wish that fell down your top <laughs> <laughs> no they're nice they're flavorsome you got a nice little bit of crunch to them you know what makes this really good though what eating it with this magical fork <laughs> thank you uncle brian and if everyone in the comments below could thank uncle brian we'll catch you next time Bye. Bye.